There's a new uh, technology that we have at Barnes Jewish West County Hospital and the Siteman Cancer Center that allows us to fuse, in other words, superimpose one upon the other images from the MRI scan and the ultrasound that we're obtaining when we're planning to biopsy the prostate. There are very few sites around the nation right now performing MRI fusion biopsies of the prostate, and we're fortunate to have certainly one of the first systems in the Midwest for that. Men who come to see me for an elevated PSA, the first thing I order is not a biopsy, but rather the MRI scan. And uh, with the information from the MRI scan, I then know precisely where the cancer is located, and that information is critical for uh, the conduct of the surgery. Then, when the patient comes to me for his uh, biopsy, we upload that MRI information into our ultrasound scanner, and we introduce the ultrasound probe uh, into the man's rectum, and we take some pictures of the prostate. There are GPS chips on the ultrasound probe, such that wherever I happen to be in imaging or looking at in that man's prostate, the computer calls up the MRI image and it superimposes the ultrasound image over a ghost of the MRI image. And in that sense, it's fusing the two images. And that way, uh, we're really confident that when we do the biopsy, we can literally see our biopsy needle go into the uh, most suspicious part of the prostate, wherever the MRI abnormality was located. So this fusion of the MRI image and the uh, ultrasound image in real time allows us to do the biopsies fairly quickly and with very good confidence that we're hitting the worst part of the prostate when we do the biopsy and reduces the chance significantly that we're going to miss the cancer that's there. Our studies have shown that it enhances the accuracy of the biopsy in terms of defining the aggressiveness of the cancer because we're able to sample a suspicious area of a man's prostate. So men who are undergoing PSA screening who are considered to have an abnormal PSA, either because their PSA has risen above the relevant threshold, and that for many men it's around four, for younger men that might be two and a half, or for a man who has had PSA values that haven't yet crossed that threshold, but the rate of rise of his PSA is alarming. So those types of men are the men who should have their uh, MRI performed and ideally performed prior to the biopsy because the, the images are much better and as we've been saying, the accuracy of the biopsy is increased uh, significantly.